Gentleman is recognized for two minutes. I thank the uh, speaker. Thank the gentleman for uh, acknowledging this. You know, Americans need to know uh, that their family members are going to be able to afford a college degree, whether it's a two-year degree or a four-year degree. Uh, too many people are afraid that their child is not going to be able to get through college. Too many students don't think they can meet the cost of it. Uh, and that's what we need to deal with. Public dollars for schools, Pell Grants, lower interest rates, work study, uh, those are things that we've done together to allow people to have the opportunity of college so that everybody can try to achieve their goal, have an equal opportunity to achieve those goals with things we've done together in the past. Uh, we've been helping businesses find very educated and skilled people to drive our economy. It doesn't matter if you earn $20,000, $30,000, or if you're suddenly unemployed because you lost a job. It feels the same if your kids are pushed out of school, if they can't afford to pay for it. Getting a degree really makes a difference for many people whether or not they're going to be able to get a good job. And helping them do that is something we've all decided to invest in. You know, carrying a huge loan debt, it may mean that you have to delay starting a family, delay buying a house, taking a job that you otherwise wouldn't take. Pell Grants, work study, lower interest rates, all of those things for higher education, one of the opportunities that we all help to create. So the people that have long been benefiting from special favors, from tax loopholes, the corporations, the people that are extremely wealthy, they need to do their part. And that's simply what we're asking them to do. We can keep this country moving forward if we invest in our future. What we want to do is find a way and make a time that those that have benefited so extraordinarily realize that they too have to step up to the plate and join the rest of us to help pay for those opportunities to make sure that we can move forward. This is a good time to invest in America and Americans. You know, we have 250 tax expenditures in the tax code. Those are special interest rates, special tax rates rather, special favors, credits, deductions. Our friends on the other side of the aisle apparently think that's what America should borrow for, that that's what they should borrow for and pay corporations that made $130 billion last year to give them more money instead of helping people get through college and get a degree that they need to get a good job. An additional minute. So, you know, I filed a bill last week that would have lowered the interest rates back at a time when the Republican budget would have let it double, back when the Speaker and the Chairman of the Education Committee and the second-ranking member of the Republican Party all voted to keep it at 6.8 percent. Filed a bill, and I found a way to pay for it, was taking one tax credit from Big Oil that made $130 billion last year, one tax credit that they weren't originally intended to even benefit from, but it managed to sort of squake their way into eventually, and said, there's a way to pay for it. Now, if you didn't agree with it, the Republicans didn't agree with it, then they could have found one that wasn't noxious, one that everybody could have agreed on. But instead, they finally came around to deciding that they wanted to lower the interest rates because they couldn't take the political heat when the president was out there talking to American families and American parents and American students said, what are you doing? Why are you borrowing and giving oil companies $130 billion of profits plus tax credits when we could be having a way to make sure that our family members get the education they need to get a job and move forward in their lives? And so the Republicans finally came along and said, okay, we'll lower the interest rates. We can't take the heat, but we're going to find a poison pill. We're going to look at what the president has planned to do with preventive funds, which are screenings for breast cancer, screenings for cervical cancer, uh, immunizations for children, and we'll use that. I suggest to my friends on the other side, stop waiting for the Senate. Do some leadership. Come across the aisle and look at those 250 tax expenditures with us. Let's find one we can agree on. Not wait for the Senate and not blame it on them. Let's move forward on that. Stop being so partisan and stop being so ideological and let's move forward. I thank the Speaker.